So I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to do the walk to the Stations of the Cross and this is me doing it. So this is a focal point in Rahalis. A lot of people do it yearly, normally around Easter time. And some people previously would do it on their knees as a form of punishment for their sins. It all relates back to the Bible and obviously with it being a heavily religious town, this kind of is a focal point at some points of the year. The view from the top is just amazing, but obviously at this point it looks like I'm holding the camera pretty much at ground level. I'm not. The camera is against my chest as I'm walking up the hill. I was trying to be discreet as I was aware that a few locals were watching me walk up as obviously I am the typical kind of English that they aren't really used to seeing as it's not a very touristy town. So with each cross as you go up, it has a number on it. And I'm pretty sure that corresponds with either the crosses in the Bible or with the amount of steps. But I'm not too sure. My nan could probably tell you if I asked her if I'm honest. I do love this walk, though. With a mask on, it was incredibly hot, though. I really, really, really wanted to take it off. But due to Spanish law, I couldn't. And I was not risking that. The walk gives you such amazing views as you go up and to be honest it doesn't take that long. You would think it would take a lot longer to walk up the amount of steps that it is but you would be incredibly surprised. I think I did it in less than 10 minutes. As you're walking up it's an extremely weird feeling because even though there is houses everywhere you're still in the middle of the town you suddenly feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. There's cats around, there's stray cats, which most of them are in Spain. The views are just incredible. As you can see, this is from about halfway point and you can see the whole of Rojales. The view from the top is even better. As you're walking up, though, you do kind of feel like you're getting into almost like a kind of wildlife situation because there's abandoned houses in the mountain top as you can see just below the cross and there's obviously all the woods around as well. As I was walking up I was trying to kind of narrate what I was feeling and looking at but to be honest it's just a lot of me huffing and puffing. So you have a lot of the kind of woodland around you which as I said has loads of stray cats which obviously some of them you have to be careful with because they can be quite vicious but surprisingly, behind all this woodland, there is just houses. And you wouldn't think that unless you kind of went over that way and explored. You would really just think you were getting into the very rural part. As you can see, though, I am nearly at the top. So the huffing and the puffing did increase an awful lot by this point, especially behind a mask. Hence why I'm having to do the narration now, even though it is December and I'm currently nowhere near Spain. But honestly, look at that view. That is why I love doing this walk and the views from the top just every time baffle me and just, I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's just such a lovely view, especially on a nice a clear day when it's quiet and it's not very busy up there. There were some teenagers making TikTok videos up there, but they didn't cause any hassle, to be honest, for me. If at this point I hadn't said that I was completely out of breath and really, really, really wishing I'd taken a bottle of water, it would be a complete lie. But I knew the fact that as soon as I got to the top of that view, I probably wouldn't think about it and that it was totally worth it. But yes, this is the top and it was getting towards sunset. And to me, it's just awesome. The view is just amazing. I'm still a bit too chicken to go right up to those crosses at the very top like the kids were because I'm actually really scared of hurting myself and falling. But um, yeah, this is just enough for me. This view is just amazing.